Appalachian Wellness, for a new tomorrow and a new you. I'm Raymond Dolenbrink, the president and owner of Appalachian Wellness. And we're going to talk today about chronic inflammatory response syndrome and multiple antibiotic resistant coagulase negative staph, also known as Marcon's. Low levels of MSH can reflect multiple antibiotic resistant coag negative staph Marcon's living in biofilms. This is not the free living planktonic form of bacteria but biofilm is like a slime layer within the, the sinus cavity that protects the organism so that the antibodies can't get to it. You know, think of trying to slog your way through deep mud. That's essentially what our white blood cells are trying to do, getting through this slime, slime layer, looking for where these germs that are producing the slime as a defense may be hiding. So the Marcons is basically safely ensconced, living in a nice, you know, safe, secure area that also is not very well penetrated by antibiotics. It's a very slow growing microbe that must be differentially cultured using the API staff technique. This is not a simple routine lab test and is only done by Microbiology DX, the lab recommended by Dr. Shoemaker for this test. Collecting the sample is a little uncomfortable. Uh, a swab has to be put in the nose, similar to what's done for a flu test, if anybody's ever had that done before, but it does have to go deeper than what the flu test is. So it's a little uncomfortable. It just takes a few moments, though, and it's over. That's really nothing to worry about. Once the test is done, we give you the specimen and ask you to mail it into the lab with the payment for the test. Marcon's is best treated with a proprietary uh, BEG nasal spray. It contains Bacteroban, which is known as Mupiracin, Ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, EDTA, is essentially a detergent that breaks through the slime layer so the antibiotic can get to the slime and fix it. Genomycin is the antibiotic in the medication, uh, the spray. And we also give by mouth rifampin, 300 milligrams, two caps daily for one month. So we're hitting it with a couple, three different antibiotics and a detergent to break through the slime. And that seems to be a very effective technique. And uh, this medication was developed by Hopkinton Drugs in Hopkinton, Massachusetts. And again, the, the biofilm alters the sensitivity of the staph to eradication because it's a very good camouflage and barrier to antibiotics and other white blood cells, everything else. And Hopkinton Drugs is the one that you get the spray from. Uh, the EDTA breaks down the biofilm, allowing the antibiotics to get access to the bacteria. As Marcon's is eliminated, the MSH will begin to rise back toward normal. And if you recall the big uh, slide we presented earlier that had all the different things that go wrong in the body in SIRS, MSH was like the central figure to that slide. As we fix the MSH problem, everything else starts to self-correct.